Uh, were you able to make contact with the operator of the motor vehicle? Yes. And were you able to identify the operator of the motor vehicle? Yes. And how were you able to identify the operator of the motor vehicle? He was identified by his New Hampshire driver's license. And what did his New Hampshire driver's license identify him as? As A. Richard Mark Holt, did work at 3431 11 Dartmouth Street, Hooks. And you said his address was 11 Dartmouth Street in Hooks? Correct. And do you see Mr. Marble in this courtroom today? Yes, I do. And to, uh, can you just point out where he's located in the courtroom and an article of clothing he's wearing for the record, please? Um, he's sitting uh, in the benches behind the defense table wearing a fire jacket. Your Honor, at this time, I would ask that the record reflect that the witness has identified the defendant, A. Richard Marble. Now, had, you would ask Mr. Marple for his license and registration, is that correct? Yes. And was he able to produce both of those documents for you? No, he was unable to find the vehicle registration. And when he was unable to find the vehicle registration for you, did he hand you any other document at that time? Uh, he handed me the vehicle inspection report. And what, if anything, did you ask him at that time? I um, asked him how his driving record was. And what did Mr. Marple say in response to your inquiry? He stated it was fine. And did Mr. Marple provide you information indicating where he was coming from? Uh, he stated that he was coming from the Masonic Temple, going over a couple things in his head. And what, if anything, did he say uh, with regard to the speed with which his vehicle was traveling? Uh, he apologized for his speed. He said that he didn't realize he was going that fast. And after that exchange with Mr. Marple, what did you do at that point? Um, instruct him to remain in the vehicle and I returned back to my patrol car. And upon returning to your patrol car, what did they need to do? I then ran um, Mr. Marple's information to dispatch who advised that he was suspended on September 28, 2013 for failure to pay for the Did uh, dispatch advise you um, anything, any information with regard to the registration on Mr. Marple's vehicle? Um, yes. Dispatch advised his license and registration were both suspended. However, dispatch advised that that vehicle was not registered to Mr. Mark. Now, do you recall what the weather was on this particular evening? Yes. Um, and what was it? It was just beginning to snow right before snowstorm. The roads were covered with uh, going of snow. And after receiving the information that you previously testified to from dispatch regarding uh, specifically the license status, of Mr. Marble. Did you go back and have an opportunity to speak with Mr. Marble? Yes. And what happened then? Um, I asked him if he knew his license uh, was suspended. And what was his response to your inquiry? He stated, oh yeah, I was going to tell you about that. So he indicated that he knew that his license was suspended at this time? Yes. And did he say anything else at that time? Um, he began to explain a, an incident that happened uh, where he claimed that he was wrongly accused of speed in Northwood and um, explained the incident. And after he explained that incident to you, um, did you make any decision in terms of how you were going to handle the rest of this motor vehicle stop given the weather conditions at the time? Yes. And what decision did you make at that time? And then we issued him a must appear summons for operating on the suspension. We issued him a court date. Now normally, if the weather hadn't been as you previously testified to, what would have been your normal procedure? Um, to take him into custody. But because of the weather, you chose not to that night? Yes. Did you explain that to Mr. Marple? Yes. And did you explain to Mr. Marple uh, what his next obligation was uh, regarding the summonses that you were issuing to him at the end of that time? Um, in terms of court appearance. appearance. I'm sorry? In terms of a future court appearance. Did you explain that to him? Yes, I explained that he needed to appear by court date. And what was going to happen to the vehicle that he was driving at that time? Um, Mr. Marble agreed to have the vehicle parked at the Montpellier's parking lot, which we were right next to that, and have a friend come with the vehicle. Did Mr. Marble have any further questions from you at that time? No. And as 
part of your investigation in this matter, did you have an opportunity uh, to obtain a notice of suspension? We asked you to participate. I don't participate before that.